Hi there, Nathan Patrick Taylor here, and I love it when people leave feedback for me. And this video comes from a request by Gail, and she leaves this comment for me. She says, I really like your presentation style. I've learned so much. I would like to see how to add total rows below the data in the same column, like subtotals in Excel. Well, that's great. There's actually a pretty easy way to do it. I'm gonna show you two ways. The first is using the native tools within AlterX to do that kind of a subtotal or total in this case. So what we're gonna do is start with a text input tool. So let's go and grab that from the in out menu. And um, we're gonna create a column called region and another column called sales. So this is just for demo purposes. We're gonna call the region rows one through four, the areas geographically north, south, east, and west, just to keep it simple. And then we're gonna do a 100 amount increment for the sale. So we'll do 100, 200, 300, and 400, okay? Just those four rows of data. What I wanna do is summarize the sales amount, and in this case, that summary is going to be 1,000, all right? So to do the summary, we're gonna to go to the transform menu, and we're going to choose summarize. Let's drag that tool onto our canvas, and we just want to choose the sales field. We also want to make sure that the data type of that field is an integer. Yes, data types matter. We won't be able to summarize that data if it's not an integer. So let's take it, go to add, and choose sum, and now we've got sum sales. But I want to change the name of the column that's going to be output and leave it the original name from the data set. So I want it to be called sales so it aligns with the column in the data set we're feeding to it. Okay, let's go ahead and hit our keyboard shortcut control R to run this workflow. All right, and look at the output. I get one row and it's just the sales amount that's a thousand. So I know the total's correct. Now what I need to do is join that data or union it back to the original data set. But there's some other setup steps I need to do here. I also have a column called region, but it's not going to be north, south, east, and west. It's going to be total. So we need to add that column to the data set. So let's go to the preparation tab. And let's choose formula and drag that after the summarize tool. And we're going to add a new column and we're going to call it region which is the original column from the data set. And we're gonna call a hard code in a value called total, all right? So when we run this, again, control R, you'll see that I get a region called total and I get an amount sales of 1000. All right, so that all looks good. Now what we need to do is take the original four regions and combine them to the total amount that I just calculated. And to do that, we're gonna to go to the Join menu or Join Palette, and we're gonna choose the Union tool. And I'm gonna drag the Union tool to the end of my data set here, okay? And that is data stream number one. That's gonna be important here in a minute. And I'm gonna take the original data tool output and I'm gonna connect it to the union tool again here, all right? And you'll see that it's labeled as data stream number two, all right? Now, if I run this, the order might not be correct, okay? In this case, it does happen to come out correctly north, south, east, west in total. But if it's not correct when you run it, you may need to check the set specific output order box so that the output is in the correct order, okay? We're gonna leave that the way that it is. And now I just need to transpose what I've got within my data set. And to do that, we'll go to the preparation chat tab, choose the select tool. And we're just gonna move a region to the first, uh, first, first uh, column and then uh, run our workflow again and now you'll see that I've got region and the sales amount and then a total as a thousand at the bottom. It's a very quick way to demonstrate how to add a, a row total for a specific column in your data set. Okay, that's the long way of doing it. Now I'm going to show you a bit of a shortcut. So thankfully, there are some tools that have, put, that have been uh, posted online. One specific site is called chaosreignswithin.com. And so I recommend that you go to that site. If you go to the homepage, it'll look like this. But if you go to the macros tab, you'll see that you can download the macros here. Follow the instructions. So download the zip file. Make sure you, to, you extract it to a location on your computer where you want to keep your macros. There's a note that says not 
in the program files alterx folder or any existing macros folder and then just run the .yxwz file and it will install these macros. And what do they look like when they show up in alterx? If you scroll or navigate all the way over to the right, you'll see a set of crew macros here. One of those macros is called add totals. So what we can do is we can remove everything we just did. Okay. I still have my original data set here with the regions and the sales, but if I drag in the add totals tool and then I leave it as the field to sum will be sales. That's the only integer field here. And we're just going to do add row only. You could also add a column if you had more than one integer column in our data set. And then we're going to check the box that says include row total label in the field region. So that field, the region field, will have our total. All right, let's go back and add a browse tool. We'll hit control R again to run our workflow. And then you'll see that we have all of the regions plus the total at the bottom. All right, so you have two ways of doing this, using the native tools within AlterX and downloading the chaos arrays within macros to produce the add row totals. So thank you to Gail for this suggestion in the video, and I hope that it works out in your AlterX workflows.